who have a refrigerator magnet, easy for me to say, go grab it off the fridge and go pick up your pots and pans. If that magnet sticks to the bottom of your pot or pan, it's induction cooktop ready. If it does not stick, it is not designed for your uh, induction cooktop. But here's the good news. We're going to bring you the largest cooktop in induction cooktops we've ever offered, the largest skillet we've ever offered, and we're going to do it for a better price than you'll find at retail. In fact, $10 less plus easy pay, it all comes together for you at four payments of $20 each. Now, K44629, let's come over and meet Jan Muller. He's the man that makes it all possible. Jan. David. Good to have you back. Good to be here. You and I presented this item on Sunday, yes. wildly popular. Absolutely. Let's talk about why we need induction cookware because it's going to be very, it's going to behave very differently. Uh -huh. Induction cooktops and cookware going to behave very differently than traditional cooking. Well, everybody wants to be a better cook. Right. Right? But if you cook on a traditional electric or gas cooktop, mm -hmm. you can end up having boil overs, greasy fried chicken that's either overcooked or undercooked, burnt steaks, burnt grilled cheese, because it's the cooktop you're cooking on because you can't control the temperature. My example is this, if you had to bake a cake, yeah. you would not put it in the oven and not know what temperature to set that oven. Of course not. If the oven said medium or medium high, you go, I'm not getting that oven. Right. Right. But we cook on a cooktop where you can adjust the temperature accurately. I have a stove at home that gives me high and low, and in between is anybody's guess. Yes, exactly. Right? They have that wonderful little uh, arrow. Yeah. Right? And where the <laughs> arrow's thicker, it's higher, and where it's thinner, it's lower. Okay, but I have no idea what that temperature is. And that's a great point. You never put a cake in the oven and not know what temperature you're no, making. You, you it, couldn't because right? it would never turn out. So this is what the new wave induction cooktop gives you. It makes you a better cook. It gives you precise cooking temperatures. I have this one set at 375 degrees. I'll take that. Get out of the way. Okay, right there, 375. And the great thing about induction cooktops is that even though they're on, the cooktop is not hot. The pan is hot, the cooktop is not. So it makes you a better cook because of the precise temperature. I've lost all of my electricity. You have? But that's okay. Did I, I can keep it? going I'm right along because this pan is hot anyway, so I could just cook right here. How's that? So you can see that it's cooking in the pan. You're back in business. Well, you're you're really good. I like well, I have you. a very large foot and I kick the cord. I like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. But you can see what I'm doing now. I'm cooking in the pan. I'm cooking in the pan. There we are. But I'm not cooking on the cooktop. The cooktop stays cool. So that's what makes you a safer cook. Did you ever have this happen to you, you know, with those uh, electric burner tops? Oh, yeah, the yeah. coils. Or you have a gas top. If it ever catches on fire, you've got flames now in your kitchen. Kaboof. It's not yeah. a good thing. Can't happen because that actually stays cool the entire time except for where the pan is because it's cooking the food where the pan is. So remember, any kind of cookware that you have at home that either says induction ready on the bottom or just like this Emerald stainless steel pan, a magnet attaches to it, you can use that on the PIC, which is the New Way Precision Induction Cooktop. If you like to fry chicken. And I do. Okay, they tell you to set the oil at a specific temperature between 350 and 375. Usually. If you stick a thermometer in here like they've been doing for the last, I don't know, 100 years, right. you could never gauge the temperature. Here's how easy it is. Look at this. I just press medium high. It gives me 375. I press start, and that automatically goes to 375 degrees. It maintains the temperature at 375 degrees so that when I'm frying chicken or anything else, I do not have to worry about a boil over. It's not going to boil over because it's, it's maintaining perfect. the temperature. Secondly, it's going to cook the chicken through without adding all of the grease. You don't want the grease in the chicken. You just want to use the heat of the grease to fry the chicken. And that's what we're doing. And that's why when you get the best tasting chicken outside of your home, right. it's always at the place where they use those big chicken fryers. Exactly. Because they can control the temperature. Now you can control the temperature. Now keep watching right here. That's hot oil, 375 degrees. You can't do this at home in a regular pan. You would now have a boil over. The oil would be all over. If it was a gas around here, gas flame, you could have a fire. Right. At the least you have is a mess in your kitchen. But right now, I can let this fry off while we do the rest of our demonstrations and show you what else you can do. And I don't have to watch it 
because it's being kept at the exact temperature. You know, Jan, at retail right now, this same cooktop and same skillet combination yes. is $89.99. What do we have it for tonight? $79.98. So we've got it for $10 and one penny less, right? Yeah. But in addition to that, we have Easy Pay. Four easy payments of $20. Super popular on Sunday. Again, very popular tonight. What you don't want to do is wait because this easy pay I talk about goes away into day today. That's why everybody's taking advantage of this. Largest cooktop we've ever offered in an induction cooktop. Also, the largest skillet that we've ever paired with it. Okay, let me show everybody at home because I know we don't have a lot of time left, but I want you to be able to see how simple it is to use the new wave induction cooktop. You're going to have six program temperatures. Right now, when you plug it in, it says zero. When you press the word low, that gives you warm, 100 degrees. You press medium low, you get 175 for simmer. You press medium, 275 for steaming. Press medium high, 375 for deep fat frying. Press high for sauteing, 425, and maximum sear is 575 degrees. So that's six pre-programmed settings. Just by pressing it, it goes right to that temperature. Now the machine is on right now, but it doesn't get hot. Why? Because there's no pan on the cooktop, and it stays perfectly cool around the outside when you are cooking in a pan. One other thing I want to show you. You can adjust this temperature, and no one else can do this, no other induction cooktop today except New Wave by 10 degree increments. You can go down by 10 degrees. You can go up by 10 degrees. So let's say the temperature is 350 degrees for frying chicken. You just set it for 350, it maintains the temperature. Lastly, you can change the wattage that this draws right here on the cooktop. You can do 1500 watts, 600 watts, or 900 watts, which means if you have anybody that lives in a dorm, in an RV, you go camping, right. you're on a boat, you want to go someplace where you're not sure what the wattage is, if you're in an older building, sure. an efficiency kitchen, something like that, you can adjust the wattage so you can always cook on your PIC. I love PIC. it for portable cooking. RVs, that campers, great? that whole thing. Go to the campsite and they've got power you know, hooked up to the campsite. This is ideal. Make your breakfast in the morning outside. Love it. Now, we just put our fried chicken in. Coming along nicely. And that whole time while we were talking about what's going on here, I haven't had to watch it. And you know what else is happening? Bubbling evenly, side yes, to side. Exactly. That's the precision, even heat distribution that this. you get. You're already starting to get a nice golden look brown with that Come chicken. On. Woo! Reminds Frying me of Sunday, Sunday dinners at home. Easier. Why would you try to fry at home and anything else where you can't control the temperature with the new wave precision induction cooktop? You can control the temperature. Question for you. Yeah. Can I make this pan screaming hot to sear meat? Yeah, I have it on maximum sear right now. That's 575 degrees. And I'm using the 11 and a half inch anodized ceramic nonstick piece of cookware that comes with it from New Wave. And I'm going to throw my steaks in there. That's what you want to hear. There's your sizzle. Okay, so that's what you're listening for because you want to sear it. And then after you get that nice crust, just turn it down to medium high or high press start and it's going to maintain that temperature so you can cook it through exactly the way you like it, either medium rare, rare, medium, medium well, well done. And, and you like that? Oh, that pepper's seasoning. getting up my nose. That's my seasoning. Woohoo! <laughs> a little applause happening over there. Okay, Ooh. let me show you something over here. Yes, sir. Okay, so this is all about controlling the temperature. Remember, on an oven, you can actually set the temperature from 100 degrees to 575, some of them 600 degrees, by degree increments because you need to be able to cook a roast or bake at exactly the right temperature. Right. When you're cooking on your stove top, if you don't have the new wave induction cooktop, you've only got low, medium, low, medium, medium, high, and high. You don't know what the temperature is. Even though in the recipes, they tell you set it on medium high. Right. Well, how would you know that? All you have to do is come over to medium high, but this is the control that you get with this machine. Check this out. So we're boiling away. Boil overs are a major problem on stove tops. Because right. if you put in the pasta and it starts to boil over, that's not a good idea. I want to show you how quickly you can control the temperature on this now, machine. Now, this is a rolling boil with these hot dogs, right? I just put it on pause. Within five seconds, it stopped. Look at that. Press start. It'll come right back to the boil within five seconds. Look at that. That's the beauty of induction cooking. You're going to cook faster, more efficiently. You're going to cook with great even distribution of heat. And this is incredible. Frank, how many are gone now? 400 are gone in this presentation. And there's our sear. Remember, you're not only searing because you want pretty color, you're also searing, oh, pepper again. 
you're going to get great flavor. And you're going to love that extra layer of flavor that the searing will create for you. So now I'd let those cook off, but I want you to see also this piece of cookware that comes with the induction cooktop is easy to clean. This is just a damp towel. And even after searing the steaks at 575 degrees, I can wipe it out that easily and, and start cooking on something else. Look at that. Perfect. Let me show you some Now, let's chocolate. show you some more goodies here. And this is, you know, melting chocolate is something you have to do at a precise temperature. You have to make sure the chocolate doesn't seize up on you. You yep. have to make sure that you don't burn or scorch the chocolate. Look at what's, what's happening here. Yeah, if you're at home and you're a baker or you make candy uh, even, all year around the holidays, you know how difficult it is to maintain the temperature of the melting the butter and the sugar and then melting the chocolate, putting it all together so you can make toffees and brittles and so forth. They actually sell machines out on the market, electric melting pots, they call them. Okay. They start at around $68. Right. They sell tempering machines that start at $300. Whew. What they have in common is they let you set the temperature. So you but you get control. to set the temperature on your new wave. I set it at 120 degrees, which means this has actually been on for the last hour and it's still being held at exactly the right temperature for melting chocolate. You never have to worry about it. And I'm I using that stainless steel pan. And Le Creuset, so very popular. Yes, that works on induction cooktops. Even that fabulous grill pan. I saw that grill pan. We had it earlier in the show. Yep. yep. That fits on here too, so you can grill your steaks on it as well. Remember, this is cast iron. Cast iron adheres to a magnet, so anything that adheres to a magnet will work on your induction cooktop. The largest one we've offered, along with the largest skillet ever, so this works out nicely. And we've got Easy Pay, but that Easy Pay Jan goes away end of day today. It's an expiring offer. So don't miss out on that Easy Pay. Now's the time to get it. This same offer at uh, retail is $89.99. We have it at $79.98 and the four Easy Payments. But that Easy Pay will expire end of day today. Mr. Muller, it's always a pleasure, sir. I understand.